After being kidnapped and held for several days, the mother of Pirates catcher Elias Diaz is back home tonight. Her story shines a spotlight on the corruption and desperation in Venezuela and the threat to families and professional athletes. John Shumway is live with the story. John. Yeah, Elias Diaz should be arriving in Bradenton tonight to join his pirate teammates for the beginning of spring training. Throughout the entire organization, her return over the weekend brings relief, but there's also continuing concern. While many have been there for weeks, today is the official pitchers and catchers report day for the Pirates in Bradenton. Elias Diaz, a catcher, is on his way to Florida with an eye over his shoulder back towards home and his mom in Venezuela. Anna Soto was recovered safe and sound yesterday by the Venezuelan investigative police force. The head of the CICPC, Douglas Rico, tweeting out pictures of Miss Soto with Elias at the hospital as she was being cared for. Dion says his mom was taken from her home 15 minutes after he left to head for Florida last Thursday for spring training. A group of men grabbed her off of her front yard while she was talking to neighbors and forced her into a van. The police say it was orchestrated by a police officer who lived just a few doors away. And in the end, five of the six people who were arrested were police. In a statement, Pirates President Frank Coonley said today in part, we are incredibly grateful for the swift and effective work of local law enforcement officials in Venezuela who brought this terrifying act to the safe conclusion for which we had all prayed. As an organization, we will continue to support Elias and his family as they move forward together. While the safe return of Miss Soto is a relief, it does not bring comfort to the other pirates whose families are in Venezuela and potential targets to kidnappers. Pirates closer Felipe Rivero telling the fans Chris Mack today in Bradenton. He said, you know, coming in every morning not knowing what he may come back to when he picks up his cell phone in his locker room stall, for example. Um, it, it can be difficult to focus on the game of baseball at times, but it's something that uh, he thinks uh, – He's able to push through in particular, but it's it's certainly uh, an unnerving thing for the guys from that country. Other pirates whose families are in Venezuela include Jose Osuna and catcher Francisco Cervelli. Now, no ransom was paid for Ms. Soto's return. In fact, those who were involved in the kidnapping apparently started talking, and as a result, the man who was holding her voluntarily gave her up without incident. Again, Diaz is supposed to be returning to Bradenton tonight and expected to talk about this situation tomorrow. Live at PNC Park, John Shumway, KDKA TV News. All right, John, thanks.